Good morning, Trinity Baptist Church. Uh, This week, at the start of the week, at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I would like to read a few Bible stories, um, the creation of humans in Genesis 1, uh, the Tower of Babel, and the story of Pentecost in Acts. Uh, And think about them as... um, verses that show us uh, what God is doing in terms of culture and the many cultures in our world. And this is um, an idea I got from this book, uh, Brenda Salter McNeil, Roadmap to Reconciliation 2.0. I am not all the way through it, but what I've read so far has been really helpful. And, And these three stories, the creation story in Genesis 1, the Tower of Babel and Pentecost are three Uh, Bible stories that she features in the first chapter of her book. You can get it for free, I think, still. The e-book, at least, uh, is something that InterVarsity was doing to to promote the book. You can email me if you want the link and see if it still works, but I like the book so much that I bought the hard copy, so here we find ourselves. Today I want to look at Genesis 1, 27 and 28, specifically in terms of what I'm learning from uh, Dr. Salter McNeil here. Genesis 1, 27 and 28 say, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Uh, Dr. Salter McNeil points out something really interesting that I'd never thought of before in regards to this verse that when um, God tells people to go out from where they start in the Garden of Eden uh, to the ends of the earth to fill the the whole earth and subdue it uh, in part of what he is telling them to do is to go and develop culture because they'll go to different places they'll find different climates they'll develop different clothing to go with those climates they will um, as they get further from one another start to speak different languages they'll find different sources of food And uh, as they go and do what God told them to do, go and fill the whole earth and subdue it, all these cultures are going to um, are going to multiply and coalesce and and become different and good in their differentness. Um, You think about, you know, some of my ancestors ancestors end up on the island of Japan, and. because of that, Japanese people eat a lot of fish because there's a lot more shoreline than there is a flat land where you could raise a cow. Uh, somebody's going to go out and find this um, great crop called a potato in, I think it's from South America or Central America, and, and eventually that's going to get spread all over the world, but some people will bake it and some people will fry it and some people will mash it and some people will chop it up and turn it into 99 cent hash browns. Um, basically, as we obey God's command to go fill the earth, uh, it is designed that we would create different cultures and languages and cuisines and uh, customs. And it appears that on the very first page of the Bible, that is something God wants for us. And if you're a person who likes to try new foods or see new places or learn about new people and customs, um, you can probably see just how exciting this is that God blesses it from the start. And that is a good foundation for us as we look around our world and see all these different cultures, some of which are very different from us. You know, I was just talking last night about, uh, we were in a meeting and we were talking about cultures that move at different paces, communicate in different ways, and it's easy for us to go, well, now that's the wrong way to do it. (laughs) But, uh, But really, from page one, from Genesis one, we get this picture of God saying, go fill the whole earth, And as we do, you know, human communities and cultures are going to look a thousand different ways. But that is always what we have been sent out to do, to fill the earth and subdue it, all the different parts of it, in all our different parts and ways. And uh, I thank God that we, even here, uh, in, in this culture, get to be a part of it.